This is your local, global community radio station, Corinium Radio. Minding your own business with Virginia Sturton. I'm having a very interesting conversation with Mandy Cran, financial freedom second only to health. She has some fabulous products called Forever Living Products. She has people also selling this and she helps them to be successful in their business with this product. So Mandy, what inspired you to do what you do? Well, about 11 years ago, I was a bit of a difficult place because I had been in the army full time, which I absolutely loved, but I gave it up to go part-time when I had children because my husband was away at sea in a submarine and uh, he lived in Scotland I lived in Wiltshire and obviously all of that was going to be quite difficult to coordinate so I went moved to part-time to the Territorial Army moved back to Scotland and uh, it was great being a mum but when my younger daughter started school I found that what I was trying to do was to work around her but with the TA it was very erratic so there's not much income coming in. Sometimes it was great, sometimes it wasn't. So I was looking for something else that I could fit in around the Territorial Army, around the kids, around my husband being away, around us moving every nine months to a new house. And so I needed that extra income coming in to sort of support it, but it had to be really, really flexible. And so that's why I joined Forever 11 years ago. And so therefore, why do I do what I do now? Well, I want to help women who are in a similar position. So those career women who've had a family, gone back to work, you know, they really want the career, they want the good income, and they want everything that goes with it, but actually are finding it increasingly hard to juggle mm. children, childcare, commuting, yeah. mm. children being sick off school, mm. you know, partner working, and all of that, and it's really hard, I've been there, yes. it's really stressful, so the more that I can help women in a similar situation to me, to have more quality time with their family, that's really why I do it. That's why you do it. Now, I've got a, got a brochure, which mm. is this Forever Living products, mm. and they are fantastic. I have been trying some of them, and I have to say they are absolutely excellent. So how did you come across these Forever Living products? Well, when I was looking for something to do to earn an extra income, as I just explained, um, I happened by chance to meet somebody who said, why don't you look at what I do? And we sat down and had a cup of coffee, and she showed me the products. And... Instantly, my elder daughter had been ill for about three years at that point. She was, for her, it was too painful to eat, so she stopped eating. She was only five when it started. And I tried everything. The doctors, various people, nobody really could help at all. And so I said to Hassani, said, well, would one of these help my daughter? I said, well, I don't know. Give it a go. Just try. Four months later, I had a completely changed child. She's now at university doing fabulous. So that's what really gave me belief in the products um, and what they could actually do for people and in terms of how it works aloe vera is a very interesting plant because it's been used for healing for about four and a half thousand years Mm. it's mentioned in the bible and what it does it acts like a storehouse of nutrients now the body can get ill very quickly through just a deficiency a very small deficiency in maybe one or two tiny things so if you can restore that nutrient back into the body the body can then heal itself aloe is about 200 nutrients the body will take from it what it needs rebalances the body and often that can sort things out and the two areas that it works particularly well on is first of the immune system so it'll balance and normalize the immune system and of course if you've got a good immune system you're not going to get ill in the first no. place and also on the skin which is also includes a digestive system and again if you can get your digestion working normally that's where your immune system sits mainly about 70 percent of your immune system is actually in your digestion so again, if your digestion works properly, your immune system is strong, therefore you're not going to get ill. So those are the two areas. So it's not the aloe doing the healing, it's yes. the aloe is providing what the body needs to heal itself, and there's yes. a very important yes. distinction between the two. So we start with that as the first ingredient in all our products, and we have a huge range. We have health-type products for every day, for skincare, weight management, sports, fitness, essential oils, animal, home. Of yes. animals don't know what they've been given. So. No. Now, who actually uh, started this product? Where, uh, is it manufactured in the UK or does it come no, from America? It was started by a gentleman called Rex Moore about 40 years ago in the United States. And he'd had a very serious stomach condition, which nobody could cure. Yeah. And he'd heard about aloe, he did some research. He was an entrepreneur anyway, and he decided to start a business. And his, his reason for doing so was he thought there's so many people in the world who have so much potential in them, but they're stopped from being great, either because they come from a poor family or they haven't got the right education or they haven't got the right money to get started or they haven't got the right skills and he wanted to start a company which would enable anybody if they had the right attitude and that's very important yes, yes. to be successful 
And that's why the startup costs are so low, why all the training is provided. And it's all about encouraging people to be successful and rewarding you for helping others. So, but you also look after a group of people selling this product. Yes, have I, do, I yes, got sir. that right, haven't yes. I? Yes. So uh, you are now talking about a bit of a training course. Do you give that training or does that come from the head office, so to well, speak? it's a mixture. What happens is that when I sit down and plan somebody's business, I will decide from what they've told me what they need. So in some cases, it will be go and do this training at head office. In other cases, it might be actually I can sit down with them and give them the support they need because everybody is different. Everybody has different skills. They've got different confidence levels and so it's about me plugging them into the right bit or yes, me doing that bit yes. for them so every person is different and every business plan will be yes. different so you yeah. really you probably look at somebody and say there's your potential mm. and then you help them bring that out don't yeah. you how many people are you looking after i have quite a big team i have a, a policy that i only train five people at any one time because if I'm going to do this properly, it takes a lot of time and effort and yes. they've got to make sure they get the best of me as well. So yes. I train five people and then when they're sort of confident that they can do it pretty much by themselves, right. then I'll start with somebody else. Somebody else, So yeah. I'm always working mm. with five anyway. And how far away from you are these people? Just in Gloucestershire? No, or? no. Um, a few places over the UK, but I've also got somebody in Belgium um, and I've got a retail base in Australia and Canada as well. Oh, that's fa- fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So we've mentioned how it sort of benefits. So actually taking that step was, how long ago did you take it? To Eleven years ago so what's been your greatest reward well there's been many ones over the years when i was thinking about this beforehand i think the one that really stands out in my mind apart from my daughter was one of my very very early customers about my third customer i ever had i didn't know much at all at that stage (laughs) and uh, this lady was about 65 she was absolutely minute she weighed about six and a half stone and she had a very bad digestive condition which meant she couldn't leave the house and she'd had it for about 40 years she was on two drugs every day and if she wanted to leave the house she had to take a third drug so you can imagine that her life was was Mm. really not worth Mm. worth living anyway we had a chat at a fair local um, village fair that i was doing and she started taking the aloe vera and I, um, I had no idea this was so new to me I had no idea what was going to happen at all really but after about four months I was absolutely stunned because she was off all the drugs that's amazing isn't it and she it? could actually leave the house and yes. have a normal life I was like Golly, wow. wow that is good and so my belief yes. as a result of that was absolutely yes. concrete yes uh, yes mm. challenges has there been a challenge <laughs> or two I think the general challenge is that one of the best things about network marketing which is the industry that I'm in is that there's no selection criteria Right. So anybody who wants to get started, has got a little bit of money to invest in a box, you know, maybe £100, they can invest and get started in a business. But one of the worst things about network marketing is there's no selection criteria. Anybody with £100 or so can get started, buy a box, start a business. And therefore you have all sorts of people, from the people who see the numbers and think they can be a millionaire for doing nothing in six months, Ooh, yes. to those who actually understand that building a business takes time and yes. application and dedication, yes, as you were does. saying, you know, yes. two to three years of Definitely. consistent effort. And so as an army officer... I'm told to do something I get on to do it even if I don't want to so my perception was that everybody else would be like that too and of course they're not, <laughs> not no. and so it took me a little bit to get my head around yes we didn't do that so that's why mm. I'm now very clear is I work with five people at a time those who really want it those yes. who deserve it not just know those who need it um, and give them my maximum time yes and then those who are behind, if they want that later on, then you know, the, the chance is yeah, absolutely there. Yeah. But I can't afford to work with people who just just don't understand no, actually, no. the commitment. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what are your future goals, Mandy? Yes. Well, my big overarching goal, and this sounds very ambitious, but this is, I want to help 2,000 women, career women, who've had children, gone back to work, to help them have better quality family time in the yes. future. Um, how long that takes, I don't know. No. But... Ideally, before I'm It takes as long as it should take. take. take so. Now, how can they get hold of you, Mandy? The best way is probably by email, which is Mandy with an IE at the Buzz Group Be More. I'm also on Instagram as Mandy.cran, Mandy again with an IE. I'm on Facebook, Mandy Cran. And my website, which is a great place to go to have a little overview of actually what the business does, a little sort of 10 minute video, and they'll give you a good idea. www.thebuzz group b more.co.uk that's great what's the, the name the buzz group your idea yes, yes, yes i like team. that yeah. yes uh, that's a good name yes well, it's interesting you see we have obviously aloe vera is our main product but actually yes. we also are the world's biggest owner of bees Oh, so yes. we have lots of beehive clever. products and yes. my father had bees I grew up with bees oh um, did you no. and so I thought I it. the buzz group just it seems yes, to be absolutely right yes yeah. so it's funny how these names come into your head and yeah. then they you know they're right yeah. lovely talking to you my best pleasure. of luck thank you. it was really great thank, thank you, you. This is your local, global community radio station, Carillium Radio. Minding your own business with Virginia Sturton.